Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 Heartland North Trail 33 RETS. This is a rear living room triple slide out travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, then we'll close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside the new 2022 North Trail 33 RETS travel trailer here. We're going to start here in the kitchen living room area, and then we will kind of spin our way through the RV here. So first things up, we have this one ordered with a freestanding dinette. So you have four chairs with a little bit of storage in them. There's an extension on the dinette table. You have theater seat over here, directly across from your TV area, so it'll recline back. A little bit of storage in the middle arm. Nice big windows overlooking your campsite area, and they are using the pull-down night shades. They are not using carpet in the RV. It does have this woven material just kind of helping hide the slide outs and the mechanisms and stuff like that on the floor area. And then you have your traditional linoleum floor. Sofa across the back will flip out and make into a bed if you want it to. And you have some storage on both sides. Electric outlet on each side of the couch as well. There's a roof vent up top here. Big TV here, and that TV will flip up so you can uh, store some stuff in behind it if you want to. A little bit of storage down below. Option for a fireplace if you wanted to do a fireplace in this. This customer chose not to do that. Um, do you have the stereo system down there and some storage up above as well? So as far as the 2022 stuff, you are seeing new floor, you're seeing new wood color, and you're seeing new countertop colors. So they've kind of changed the overall look of the RV on the inside. New wallboard. Over here, you have the traditional gas oven, three burner stove top, does have the glass front with the LED light built in down there. Also have the light up knobs. Glass stove top cover that will flip up and kind of act as a backsplash when you're cooking there. And you have the Greystone oven, Greystone hood range and fan, and the Greystone microwave. So kind of a nice matching set there. Currently using the 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt Everchill refrigerator. Undermount stainless sink as well. Over here you have your uh, TV antenna booster. There's a light switch, an electric outlet obviously. Uh, but you have your control for one of your air conditioners along with a furnace. Down below, electric box with breakers and fuses. A little bit of storage and another little window area there. On the side here we have a couple slide out buttons, awning button, and some more light switches. Bathroom area here. Foot flush toilet. A little bit of storage under your sink. Traditional wood medicine cabinet. There is another little fan and roof vent up here. Skylight up above, I'll get in here and spin around so you can kind of see this a little better from the other angle. Glassed in shower and some uh, linen and towel storage and stuff there. But it's a fairly decent size bathroom for a travel trailer. Now spinning on around here, you can Enter your bedroom from the bathroom or from the hallway. So you have six dresser drawer there. Nice big window overlooking the campsite area again. 
some overhead cabinets, and your TV hookups are there as well. So if you wanted to put a small TV there, you could. The unit has a camper king bed. A little bit of overhead cabinets up there as well. And the bed will raise up, so there's some storage there. And you have a decent amount of walk around room in here also. Now, looking up at the ceiling, this one was ordered with the optional second air conditioner and 50 amp service. Um, so this is basically what it looks like. It's a drop-in AC unit if you decide you want to do that second air. This is a pretty large camper, so I would definitely recommend it. Now, up front here, you have a big, deep closet. Plenty of room in here to stash all kinds of goodies. This is basically over this large outside storage compartment that you'll see when we get out there. Now over on this side, this door by the way is kind of like a little fold back door. So when you open it you can kind of fold it back out of the way a little bit if you want to. But right here you have washer dryer hookups if you wanted to do that. And you'll see a little bit when we get outside, there's a separate drain for that and stuff. Um, but very few travel trailers have washer dryer capability, but this happens to be one of them if you want to do that. So looking back toward the rear of the coach again, you have a sliding door to block off your bathroom there. On the wall there you have a light switch, but you also have your in and out button for your bedroom slide. There's also an electric outlet down there as well. But overall, very cool, large couples trailer to travel in. If you want a bigger unit, plenty of room, but don't want to go to a traditional fifth wheel style, this is definitely one of the nicer travel trailers on the market. All right, guys, we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside, and then we're going to take a look at closing up the inside as well. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new 2022 North Trail 33 Reds here. Um, we're going to start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, they did change up the graphics package a little bit on the outside from the 2021 year changeover. Um, you still have the white fiberglass with the lower black aluminum skirting. They do a large pass-through storage compartment here on the front section. You do have a couple lights in here and also the light switch on the other side of the compartment over there for the cap lights that you'll see when we get around to the front. Sidewalls are a two inch thick fiberglass laminated sidewall and it is laminated to the Asdale composite material so it is much less likely to have any type of delamination issue where a traditional fiberglass to wood luon could rot out. So a little bit better wall construction on the North Trail product compared to some of its competitors. You have a power awning here with an LED light strip built in as the manual override in the uh, front headpiece up here. In case of an electronic failure, you can manually crank it in. You have deep tent safety glass windows, outdoor speakers up here. The unit has power front and rear stabilizer jacks. Traditional screen door and entry door for an RV. Um, it does have the window in it where some brands don't do windows anymore. So you do have a window in there and that window is actually thin shade ready. There's an aftermarket shade you can buy to put in there. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of the entry door here. And again, the model number is located usually right around that area. So you can find that as you're out shopping around on a dealer's lot and let them know what you liked. You have the more ride step above step, which comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable legs. And that step is rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. 
The unit comes standard with the wide track axle system. So you can kind of see there the tires are spread further apart. So when it's traveling down the highway, it's more stable. It's not going to sway as badly as when they put the tires close together. Still want to recommend a weight distribution sway control hitch of some sort. This is a pretty long unit. Again, specs were at the beginning uh, and also down in the description. But definitely want to check that out and consider that when purchasing a unit this long. On around to the back side of the camper, it does have a traditional four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people store their dump hose in there. Spare tire mounted to that back bumper. This also has a outdoor grill. And basically you can see a little mount there. The grill's in the box of the storage compartment up there. But uh, this one was ordered with that little grill so you could do some cooking outside here if you wanted to. Nice arch to the roof as well. So it's uh, set up basically to have that water runoff. Has gutter rails down both sides with the three inch gutter extensions to try and shoot the water away uh, a little bit better. And the unit is also pre-wired on the back for a rear observation camera. Detachable 50 amp electric cord. Have a little bit of storage in this compartment right here. Your cable satellite inlet is just above that power cord also. Going on up to the middle section here, your furnace exhaust out right here. You have hot and cold outside utility shower here, city water inlet, and the black tank flush located right here. And then down below, you have hot and cold low point water drains, and you also have your gray and black tank dumps down here. Just over to the left, there is a fresh water tank dump underneath of there. Your stove exhaust is on that uh, slide out back there, and that does require you to open the flapper to let the smoke and stuff out. Decent sized storage compartment here. Just in front of the slide here, we have our six gallon gas and electric water heater. And then we also have our fresh water tank fill up there. And this one was again ordered with that washer dryer prep. And that is where you would dump the washer dryer area here. You can also see those little red things on the frame down there. Those are 12 volt resettable circuit breakers. The other side of the storage compartment. That little panel comes off right here. So you could get into the back of the water heater for bypass purposes. Now we're gonna pop up a few stickers just to the left of that uh, baggage door there are some informational stickers. So the first one popping up here, this is gonna be your main data sticker, which has your VIN number, production date, most importantly, has your gross vehicle weight on it. Next up is the unloaded vehicle weight sticker, telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next is going to be your cargo carrying capacity sticker. And after that is just going to be your tire sticker. Most importantly on the tire sticker, just kind of telling you tire pressure. Don't let the pressure get too low, guys, because then it can't hold the weight of the RV properly. Now, down here in the front section, you have power tongue jack. It does have the built-in light, manual override, 2 and 5 16 hitch ball, heavy-duty safety chains, 7-way barbman wiring plug, two 20-pound propane tanks, there's room for one or two batteries. It comes with zero batteries from the manufacturer. Most dealers will provide you with one. Definitely make sure you get one. Um, but again, there is room for two if you're more of a boondock camper. On the front corner down here, it is prepped for a Furion portable solar panel. If you wanted to do that aftermarket, you could. You have a lower black diamond plate metal. And you have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap. And it has four LED light strips built in there. And again, those turn on and off from the switch in that storage compartment. 
All right, guys, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you around what it looks like closed. So we'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now back inside the new 2022 North Trail 33 RETS here. And I wanna show you what it looks like closed. So you have two separate buttons for the back section and then one for the bedroom, which is in the bedroom. So we're going to close up the kitchen slide first. Again, 12 volt slide. So you just hit the button, it comes straight in, straight out. As long as you got a good battery, this thing should work. If not, it does have a manual override. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to do, but talk with your service tech about it and he'll be glad to go over that with you. So straight in stops so you kind of see what this looks like here it comes right in super close to the island walk around here to this side so when it's in you're not really getting to any of that stuff and using it now when you bring in the other slide Same thing, comes straight in, 12 volt motor. Obviously make sure your floor is clean before you bring these slides in, because it will run over top of whatever's in the way. So definitely make sure there's no rocks, pebbles, twigs, anything like that, kids toys in the way, because you could damage your floor. So slide is in all the way now and you can see you're not really squeezing by here to do much of anything so you will have to put the slides out in order to kind of go back and use the rear of the coach these slides do not affect the bathroom or bedroom area as you can fully walk into the coach Go in and use your bathroom at a rest area. Now we're going to run in the bedroom slide. Again, button here in the bedroom area for this. And when this one comes in, you have to basically crawl over top of the bed to get to your closet and stuff. You're not going to be able to really use the dresser because the mattress comes right up against it. But you still could come into your bedroom area if you needed to and lay down, take a nap or something again at that rest area. Uh, again, you come in, use your bathroom, no problem. All right, guys, thanks a bunch for watching my RV videos. Really, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the guys at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country, guys. They'll definitely save you a ton of money if you're interested in one of their brands.